Hi, this is Ed Gregory for Photos in Color, and today I'm going to show you how to use the crop tool in Lightroom CC. Here is the theme tune. Ah, oh, I love the theme tune. So the crop tool in Lightroom is actually incredibly powerful. We say crop, basically what that means is we can take an image of any size or shape and we can reshape the image without squeezing the image but cutting areas out. So for example, you take an image on your DSLR camera, which is a standard, say, landscape image, but you want it to be a wide, like a panorama image, or you want to crop it into a portrait that's when we use the crop tool and it's actually very powerful. So let's jump into Lightroom and have a look at how to do it. So we can see here we are in the library module. Now the crop module is in develop and in the top corner just here. We can click on that and this is the crop module. Now you can actually get there quickly by pressing the button R. I think this comes from resize, that's where they use that code from, and we can actually do it from library or anywhere else, whenever we have an image selected, press R, it will take you to develop and straight into the crop module, so that's really fast. Now, inside the crop module, we can see we currently have a grid over the top which is going to help us to crop the image. This is actually called an overlay and we can change what that looks like. So this one has lots of squares to help us. If we click O on the keyboard, that's going to change what those overlays are. So this here has six squares, which is basically your thirds. If you use that as a technique, this is gonna help you with your thirds. Um, o again is going to give you this. This is actually my favorite. This actually gives you your center point here, your, your, your top third center point, your bottom third center point, and then your two vertical center points just here, which is fantastic. It's also exactly halfway and exactly halfway. Really quite amazing. The next one here is very similar to the one before. However, there's no center mark. This is third across, a third across, a third up, and a third down, which is, again, really useful. The next one is that's going to take you into six pieces again, but this the center one is actually more narrow. It's not evenly spaced. The next one is this spiral. It actually comes from the Fibonacci code, which is how you add up a series of numbers, and it creates, mathematically, it creates this spiral. Apparently, this is really good to use for architecture. I've never had to use it, but maybe you will. Uh, and then this one here, this overlay has, if you look here, there's three different sets of numbers, two by three, five by seven, four by five, standard image printing sizes. So this can actually help you to know what that would look like. And then if we click again, that's gonna take us back to the beginning. Today, I'm going to use my favorite, which is this one, the, the diagonal lines. So. Basically, when we make a crop, we can just drag and drop from here, from the top corner anywhere, and just make a new size, okay? Now, importantly to note with this crop thing, the, the crop box stays where it is, and the image moves around that. So, for example, we've made this small crop here. Now, if you look at the actual box that we see, which is here, which is the, the light area, is the original image that we're going to crop to, and the outside is dark, which means we're going to get rid of it. So if I want to come down to this bottom corner, I don't move this box down here, I move this up. So I select here and I drag that up, and in we go, which is fantastic. Now, if I select outside this box, that gives me the rotation. So inside, move, outside, rotate. That's the easiest way to remember. So we can make a really quick crop. We're gonna make this one kind of funky to the side, and that's what we've just cropped it to. So that's not all you can do. You can actually do a lot more. So we're gonna reset this one and have a look at some other things we can actually choose the aspect. So here it's set to original. But if I wanted to print it, for example, as a five by seven, if I select five by seven, it's going to crop that in to five by seven. And now if I drag this down, okay, it's always going to be within that ratio, perfect for printing. So again, let's press reset and see what else we can do. You can also go to something cinematic. So this is widescreen and that's gonna set that up directly as a cinematic image, which looks great. 
So what else can you do? Well, the next thing, this is what's great. This is the toggle. Okay, so over here is this lock basically, and that locks or unlocks your aspect ratio. So if we unlock this and now move from the top corner, we can see actually now we can actually crop to absolutely any shape that we want to. So we can just grab and move this around. Now to toggle this on and off, so we might be happy that this is very wide, Okay, and then if I press A, that's going to toggle that down. And now when I move this around, it's going to keep that aspect ratio that I set, but I can make it bigger or smaller. So now we're going to set this to very wide screen just here, and it looks fantastic. Now, the final thing that I'm going to talk about is how to straighten an image. This is what's really important. So often with images, what we do is we take a photograph just like this one here and we've ended up taking it at a funny angle. Now it's actually incredibly easy with inside Lightroom to straighten an image. It literally is simple. So press R and then in here we can actually use either this slider here which is going to allow me to have a look at the way that these the different lines you can see it brings up the squares and make sure that they actually draw a line down the side of a building for example or I can click this button here. Now what this does is, imagine this, when you're building a desk like this, for example, or something which is flat, you take that kind of ruler thing with a bubble in it. And with that bubble, what happens is, if you go like this, the bubble floats. If you go like this, bubble floats. If you get it level, it's flat. What this does is it helps you by using a similar technique. So basically, you can just drag this and draw a line just like so, so I'm using the horizon, and it's going to straighten it up to that. And now we have a wonderfully straight image for that horizon. But I can also choose anything. So I could straighten it to this building here, draw that line, and if we look, it's going to straighten it and make that line straight, and we can see that. When we actually click on this, we can see the line is nice and straight down there. And that's basically it very powerful and very quick to use. So that's my tutorial on how to use the crop tool in Lightroom CC. If you liked this vi video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because we've got loads of new videos coming up to really make you a pro at using Lightroom CC. Like the video, also leave me a comment. If there's something I missed, if there's something you're not sure about, if there's something you want me to do a video on, drop it into the comments. I'll always get back to you and I'll also do my best to make a video specifically for the question that you're asking. Thank you so much for watching and please tune in and come and see some more videos. Cue theme song.